here's the parallelogram. How can we find its area? Before that, let's quickly understand this shape. Its opposite sides are parallel. Its opposite sides are equal as well. We'll use these properties to find its area. Here's how. We know how to find the area of rectangle and triangle. So let's break this shape into these familiar shapes. We can chop off a right triangle from this side and slide it over to the other side. These two sides are parallel and equal. So this triangle will perfectly fit here, forming a rectangle. This rearrangement doesn't change the area. So the original parallelogram's area must be the same as this rectangle's area, that is 6 times 4 or 24 square inches. How about this parallelogram? Its base equals 3 inches and height equals 7 inches. Again, we can turn this into a rectangle and its area is base times height or 21 square inches. There's another way to find the area of a parallelogram. Divide it into two triangles along its diagonal. These two triangles are of the same shape and size. The area of each of them must be half times base times height. Now the area of parallelogram must be double, that's base times height. Now that's how you find the area of any parallelogram. Take any of its sides as its base and measure the corresponding height. Its area is base times height. How about this parallelogram? With all sides equal, it's called a rhombus. Can you find a way to calculate its area? Let us know in the comments.